It started with a valve. Rusty old red piece of junk I found behind my studio. I don't remember why I did it, but I put my head inside this thing and I jumped at a certain angle near a wall and boom! I flew like 150 feet, landed on my neighbor's roof. Anyway, I started looking for other stuff like this, other anomalies. My favorites were collision testing and speed running, launching myself across town in 14 seconds of flat. My neighbors kind of hated it though. They were trying to forget their old lives and watching me skip across the rooftops like a stone reminded me. But that's baby food. You can screw with the limits of fantasy land to your You're just fast. You're not going anywhere. I was pushing against the limits, but nothing was ever going to really change. Until I went into the sewer. for a week, looking to shave a quarter second off between the bus stop and Admiralty, which was like a half mile away. One day, I hit my jump at the wrong angle, and I go head first through what should have been like a concrete wall. Only it wasn't. I passed right through it. I land in this tiny little box of a room, can barely stand up in it. Right away, it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be there. Three of the walls looked right, but one of them was just mesh and grid patterns, like somebody hadn't finished it. And sitting there on the ground, was a six-sided dice.
started going back to the dice constantly. I'd roll it, thinking about strength, and boom, I was this bruiser guy who could punch through a wall. Focus on gravity, and I'm some kind of soldier cat thing running on the ceiling. But it was always temporary, it would only last as long as I could focus on it. So I started focusing more and more.
against her. The question is, what are you actually capable of doing? And what if there's a place where the limits you put on yourself here don't exist? Where literally anything is possible? That's where we are. And if you're listening to this, consider this an invitation to join us. I wish I could tell you how you're going to find it, but every path is different. What I can say is this. Stop playing the game how it's meant to be played. Look for anomalies. Look for breaks. Test the limits. You'll find your way. You're looking at, kid. Okay, you're pretty good, but you're still a player. player won't survive the ascent. Even if you did, I don't need another player. What I need is a DM, a creator, a builder. Here, take this body log, go fill it with avatars. 